America first fell in love with Neil Patrick Harris when he played Doogie Howser, MD. He has lots of other credits, though, including Glee, How I Met Your Mother, and most recently the Netflix series, A Series of Unfortunate Events. He has also hosted the Tony Awards and Primetime Emmy Awards, along with winning five of them. So now he has his biggest role, and that's being a dad to two kids. We're excited to welcome Neil <laughs> Patrick Harris to chat about his support for schools across the nation. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks. That was quite an introduction. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. And congratulations on being a, a dad. Your kids, are, are they going into third grade? Yes, they're starting third grade on Monday. That's very, Late. very exciting. Late in the year, but it's, very, it's a very exciting time indeed. Yeah, and if you have grade school kids, you obviously know a big thing is packing their lunches, um, trying to give them breakfast before they head out the door. What, what are some things that are important to you when you think about feeding your kids? Yeah, you know, you want your kids to have to, to have the mental capacity that lo that's, lo that's long. You want longevity a little bit. And so often they're just drawn towards candy and sugar and chocolate and sweets. And, and while that's exciting to watch them be spazzy and kind of freaky, it's less fun when they crash from it. So my husband's a chef and we try and, and keep things wholesome. Uh, more just for their education, right? It's back to school season and so we need to get their heads, their brains, their bodies into the idea of learning uh, and, and maintaining energy to learn. So, uh, so that's kind of where, where we're, we, we both have been focused on, not only the, the, the food part of it, but the, the, the teaching classroom part of it as well. I get that. It gets, trust me when I say it gets more challenging as they enter the teenage years. But I appreciate what you're doing in this partnership with Quaker Chewy because I know part of it is feeding kids something nutritious, something to help them learn, something to, to, to fill them up, but also the way that you're, you're looking at this as a way to help teachers. Well said, yeah. So we love the Quaker Chewy bars because of that. They're a good, they are a legit good alternative to a candy bar and something that we can keep uh, with us whenever they feel like they're waning between meals and, and need a snack. Um, and so they came to me to partner with this cool initiative that they're doing for the month of September. And here's how it works. If you pick up a box of your favorite uh, Quaker Chewy bars, right? You go to a website, choosechewy.com, which is relatively simple and it's for this thing. You enter the UPC code that's on the box. Every time someone does that, they'll donate a dollar to adoptaclassroom.org, this amazing organization. And they'll keep doing that until they've, they've uh, got $250,000. And all of that money is going to go towards teachers uh, and for the things that they need for school supplies and for things in their classrooms. Uh, you can also, once, you, once you're in there, nominate teachers for uh, in, to be put into sweepstakes to win additional money and supplies. So I didn't, I thought that was cool, but I didn't quite realize the extent that teachers go through. They told me a stat, 96% of all teachers wind up spending over $700 a year out of pocket for things for their classroom, for pencils and erasers and glue and tape and construction paper, which given their salaries just seems crazy to me. So they asked me to come talk to you and uh, the people that, uh, that love you to say that it seems like an easy win. The Quaker Chewy bar is delicious and it's good for you and uh, the giving money in, in, in exchange for nothing, just going to a website uh, and all the money goes to teachers and we're about to start school. That uh, seemed like a, 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 a brain logic thing that I couldn't say no to. It seems like a smart thing. My mom was a public school teacher, fourth grade, and it's true. Wow. They end up nice. spending a Kleenex, too. You left off that list. That's a big thing that they have oh, to buy. Oh, wow, yeah. But they do end up spending a lot of their own money on just some of the basic supplies. So I appreciate what you're doing. And do you, does being part of this make you think of a special teacher in your life? Well, I grew up in a small town in New Mexico, right? So I was at Ruidoso, New Mexico. And so that was way up in the, in the mountains, pine forests, not a lot there besides uh, farming and football and a pottery wheel or two. Um, so having teachers that taught me about music, my music teacher, choir teacher, a guy named Churchill Cook, when I was in the middle school, and you're 
starting puberty, you know, like pre-puberty, and, and to, to have a teacher that's, that's encouraging you to sing, to stand up in front of your classmates and, and sing in choir uh, was a hard task. And the fact that he did it and made it seem so cool and respectful and respectable uh, was something that I, I really still appreciate. I would nominate him in a second. Good for you. That's so cool. And there is the star is born with Churchill Cook is your teacher. It was wonderful to talk to you. Guy. Thank you so much for your time and remind us where people should go for more information. Thanks. Yeah, um, it's called choosechewy.com. So eat them, go there, give some money to teachers. It's wonderful. Great talking to you. Thank you again for your time. I appreciate it.